Hello everyone, I welcome you to the training session of Chandigarh Speech and Debating League 2023. I'm really happy that you all chose this tournament, um, specifically because uh, it's yeah. a tournament. Hey, oh, okay, there has to be some ground rule. You're not supposed to say excuse me ma'am or anything if you have any question. Please raise your hand. I'll pick and choose which student is supposed to start or speak and therefore um, and after that, only you're supposed to speak. Please do not interrupt in between. Um, okay, with that, we're positively starting right now. Um, all right, so we're happy to host you. Excuse me, ma'am. I think I've already- Oops, no speaking in the middle, please. If you have such an important question, put it in the chat. No speaking in the middle now, please. All of you focus. It's the same training for the junior and the middle for orientation. Uh, all right, let's all start right. with- so what is Indian Debating League? Indian Debating League is the most prestigious public speaking and debating tournament. We have by far trained 68,000 debaters and we have conducted more than 100 plus debating tournaments with people um, all across the, like, in, not just India, but like we also make sure that Indian debaters get a chance to represent India in various different platforms such as um, London School of Economics, Oxford, um, NSDA, all of that, which basically shows that even though debating is very inaccessible in India, we make sure that we that we give opportunities to Indian debaters to represent India at a global level, which becomes the end goal. Um, I believe um, I'm audible to most of y'all, but if you Excuse can't me, hear, put I'm it on. Um, could you please check your internet? Okay. I'll just mute them all. Just give me a second. All right. So this is called Chandigarh Speech and Debating League because the outcomes are going to be in Chandigarh. Excuse um, me, ma'am. The way how training sessions are going to be Excuse is going me, to be 1st of July to 22nd of August. Um, please keep your questions in the chat box. The qualifiers are going to be on 5th August, which is going to be online. But if you qualify to the semifinals and finals, which is going to be based on your scores, your performance, um, we're going to... Uh, we go, we're going to break the topmost students to the semifinals and finals, which is going to happen in Chandigarh on 14th August offline. Now, this tournament is open from uh, class 4th to 12th, uh, which basically gives you a large diversity of children who are going to be uh, participating in this tournament. So it's a great exposure for all of you all to start, or even if you're not starting, to just generally be aware of or ha have exposure to debating in general. With that, uh, what is um, in for you when you are debating at Chandigarh Speech and Debating League? This is specifically in terms of what are the awards, what are the opportunities, what do you take away in terms of experience? Um, so we do have a couple of expert sessions and panel discussions lined up for you. We also have um, a lot of masterclasses, which, should look, which looks like today's training, tomorrow's training, and specifically third day training, which where we are going to give you practice sessions. Uh, we are also going to give top six students the opportunity to represent and speak at TEDx talks, which again is a very good opportunity um, to speak and a very good platform. Um, so if you consider yourself as a public speaker or in general, a speaker which gets, which or, who always wants to or wanted to uh, inspire people, I think it's a great opportunity. Um, so you do get media recognition with certificates and awards, but also the most important thing you get to have an in-person finals where you where you get a prestigious podium to speak to, to speak on and therefore uh, express your thoughts and meet people from different places of India. With that, um, what is our theme? Our theme is called popular culture, and I think it's something which is close to all of us because it's not just movies and series that we tend to watch, but it's also more than that because movies and series are literally based on every single thing. So it could just be probably like those popular movies like Barbie, but it could also be Oppenheimer. But do you understand the different things that goes into like such movies? So when it comes to Barbie, we're probably talking about all of these, um, all of the 
um, unrealistic beauty standards that exist in society. But when it comes to Oppenheimer, we're probably talking about the international relations between different countries, world war, nuclear weapons, etc. Because all of these movies tend to inspire or give us some sort of knowledge, even if it is just for entertainment, right? So a lot of times politicians also become a part of a part of popular culture. Uh, when you see that um, their memes are getting viral on, let's say, uh, uh, on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So all of these things basically come from the very idea that um, that dialogues are basically created when you see movies um, and shows because people tend to talk about all of these because they they tend to um, in, inspire you or they tend to make you feel that this is something which, which should be talked about. For, for example, in Indi like Indian movies like Toilet basically um, tells or recognizes the issue of let's say the non-existence of um, toilets in village and rural areas, which basically looks like um, lack of sanit like sanit like sanitation in a lot of places uh, within India and so on and so forth. So a lot of societal impacts can be considered, a lot of political impacts can be considered, a lot of social justice movements can be considered just by the virtue of you talking about popular culture, um, which is why the theme of this tournament is popular culture. Um, so things like music, the relation of music to, let's say, politicians or politics in general, the relation of um, the way how politicians basically use um, series or um, movies in order to push their propaganda, etc. So all of it could be is are, are things which are very debatable uh, because you can also have things like representation of different cultures through movies, uh, be it minority culture, uh, be it like uh, a movie on like um, um, like people of color or black community in America and so on and so forth. So I think Happy this is what it looks like and you're going to have all of these topics that you're going to have in terms of turncoat or WSDC based on this theme. Yes. Yeah. Afreen ma'am, thank you so much. So all of you, uh, you know, all the middle schoolers, please stay here. Just put down your hands. We want to go and make sure that you all understand, right? You all understand that you have all participated in this speech and the debate tournament today. We are all here for that. We all understand that. Can I have a thumbs up? Does everybody understand that we are participating in a debate and a speech tournament, okay? So there are two of them. Either you're going to do speech and they are either you're going to do a debate, right? Debate is in teams of three and speech is going to be individual speeches, correct? So what Afreen ma'am is going to do, she's just going to tell you today about what you can expect in the tournament, right? So what do we have? We've got three days of training that we will do and we will do qualifiers. But the important part is that I am very focused on making sure that we are well, uh, you know, well cohesively acting as a group, which means that if any of you start annotating, it bothers somebody else. And if you continue to please chat and disturb each other, then it bothers everybody else, right? And I have full faith that you don't mean to do it. So when somebody is playing on my slides, am I liking it? Not at all, right? Can I make out who's doing it? Yes, I can. But I don't want to call that out, right? It's disturbing everybody else. It's disturbing our friend, ma'am. It's also disturbing Lakshmi. She's writing on the group. So no more chatting on the group. We need to focus, right? We are the best in our schools, in our houses. When we express ourselves, let's express ourselves constructively. Is that okay? Is everybody okay with that? Right? Otherwise, we don't want to waste our playtime and sit in this class, right? So when we are sitting in the class, we will maintain decorum, right? If you can't hear us, don't worry about it too much. This is getting recorded, right? Probably your internet is slow. Is anybody having any other issue? Then please unmute yourself and speak. Otherwise, I'll just mute everyone, which I don't like to do. I like to hear you all, right? Yeah. So Afreen ma'am is telling you what should we debate about? I mean, should we debate about environment or should we debate about Barbie and Oppenheimer? Yeah. Who prefers Barbie debates? Tell me, raise your, pull up your thumbs up, please. I want to see thumbs up on the, do you know, do you all know how to do a thumbs up on your, this thing? Yeah, I can see some thumbs up. Do you want to debate about how Barbie influences us? How Oppenheimer's story is influencing us? Have you heard about these movies recently? Yeah, do you all listen to songs? Yeah. So the songs also influence us, right? Sometimes our mothers say, don't listen to this song. Or sometimes she says, yes, listen to these songs. These are all examples of popular culture, right? How does popular culture impact us? How does Doremon impact us? How does a Netflix series impact us, right? 
So that's what Afreen ma'am is saying that today we are going to debate about popular culture in this whole debate tournament. Is that okay? Is everybody comfortable with that? Yeah. So Afreen ma'am, we will take the pace of the training a notch lesser, and then we will increase it as they get comfortable. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Thank you. Okay. Then, with respect to theme, what we mean by theme is that. This particular theme is going to be used in order to make topics for your debates and for your turn code speeches, which looks like all of it is probably going to be derived from the popular culture theme. So we'll have a lot of sub themes under that, which are related to pop culture, but not necessarily only pop culture, because again, as I said, pop culture also um, includes a lot of things that impact or influence pop culture in general, which is why popular culture is the broader theme and your topics are going to be derived from it. Are there any questions on themes specifically? If there are, um, please raise your hand. I'll take questions specifically on themes. Um, um, okay, no ma'am, I said raise your hand. Nobody's gonna talk unless I give you the opportunity to talk. Okay, Breathing. Ma'am, ma once again, all of you know, ma'am, ma'am, I just unmuted you. We will discipline. Put up your hands. We will ask a few questions. Otherwise, rest of you can put it in the chat also. You can use the chat box also now. Right? After you just call upon two, three names. Yeah. Breathing. Yeah. Ma'am, yeah. <laughs> uh, ma what would be the topic? So, your top. So, this is a good question. So for turn code students, we'll give you topic today by the end of this call. And for WSDC, which is debate, we're going to give you your topics tomorrow by the end of the call. Is that uh, clear? The turn code and speak? do we need a notebook or something to write? The topics? Yes, ma'am. Um, no, 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 don't worry. It's all getting recorded. It's all getting yeah. recorded and it'll all be circulated to you. We're going to give you the PDF, which will have all the topics. Don't worry. Okay, all right, Dhruv, do you have a doubt? Yes, ma'am. So what's uh, your doubt? Uh, ma'am, I, uh, I have joined the class late and I don't have the enough internet ex connection and I couldn't understand what you have. It's okay, uh, Dhruv, you can see the recording later also. Just follow what ma'am is saying now. Uh, Afrin, you can move away from the theme. Ma'am. One second, no, ma'am. One second. So, uh, let's do one thing. After. Finish a few slides and then come to the questions that they may have. Otherwise, all of you, we can put the questions in the chat box also. What? Uh, uh, after you just move away from this slide, please. Uh, go to the next one. So, all of you, please know we are going to be debating on popular culture in this tournament. And popular culture is the. Uh, after you move next to this, yeah. Excuse just me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. If you, if you have please doubt, mute yourself. You're supposed to keep it in chat box. No excuse me, no unmute, nothing. We're gonna mute you if you do that uh, again. Yeah. All right. So what is the what are the key to dates for the tournament? So from 31st of July, which is today, to 2nd of August, you have your training sessions, which will basically train you with respect to the format that you've opted for. So for example, today you have theme explanation and turn code training. So how can you make your speeches? Um, how can you make sure that you have, you're using the proper strategy? What should be the structure of your speech, et cetera, et cetera. And then how can you make a good, good speech and get good marks, right? Um, the second day is going to be WSCC training, which is going to be tomorrow, which is 1st of August. The third day is going to be mocks and practice session for turn code and WSDC, where I will give you practice topics and then you're going to give me arguments and points as to what you would run if you were speaking for that particular topic. All of these training sessions are scheduled from 3, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So please note that's going to be the timing. But just note that day one is turn code training specifically and general orientation for everybody. So by the end of this call, you'll get turn code topics for all three rounds that are going to be there. And day two, you'll get your WSCC motions and topics. Um, all right, the fifth the or the main day for you guys is 5th of August, 2023, which 
uh, which will basically like so the day is basically um, in the morning we are going to have all the qualifier rounds for turn court uh, where you'll have three rounds starting from 9 a.m to 1 p.m and in the afternoon we are going to have qualifiers for wsdc which is going to be from 3 p.m to 8 30 p.m um, so out of after this, we are going to calculate the results based on the scores that you have received, and then we'll, we are basically going to take at least um, two days so that you can we can give you the results, um, and then you're supposed to plan your travels um, in order to come to Chandigarh on 12th uh, on 14th of August. I'm sorry, I just like I did it. It's just a typo. So on 14th of August, you'll have your final day in Chandigarh. Are there any questions then? Okay, so I just want to make sure that you all use the chat box if you have any doubt. So I can see a few of you are asking doubts. That's excellent. Except the fact that we'll come to it, right? So we ask doubts on what man has already explained. So I don't want to see, uh, you know, what will be the debate topics, but we, we'll come to that. Anishka, we're just coming to turn code. So give us a second. Uh, anybody else do you want to use two minutes on the chat box just let's do that so i'll tell you what turn quote is um and just to clarify once more if i may theme yes. is overarching okay which means that theme can be popular culture it could be how things from what artists do impact us right great artists great singers great politicians how it impacts us as a society right like i took an example of say barbie is there some lesson that we learn from that? Is there some lesson from great songs that we listen? Sometimes our educators tell us to listen to some nice poems. So how does it influence it? Popular culture is the theme. Under popular culture, we will do topics. So that's the difference between what a theme is and what a topic is, right? So let me give you an example. Another example could be that the theme is environment and the topic would be, should zoos be banned, right? So right now, for this debate for Chandigarh, it's going to be the popular culture as the theme. We'll just tell you the topics in a bit. Okay, so what Afin Man is saying is for today, after we finish the orientation, it will take us another 10 minutes. We are going to go deeper into uh, turn code. Right, Afin Man? So if yes. you just uh, click next. So she's going to uh, go into some things that everybody must know, whether you are debating or whether you are doing turn code, you should know this, right? And uh, so after we are done the orientation, then all the debate students can leave. Only the turn court students, please stay behind. Turn court is an individual speech event. So for example, let me see. Bani Simar, you were applied for debate? That's correct? Correct. Give me a thumbs up. This one, I'm so sorry. I've had to mute you because we have to finish a few things, right? And I can see Vardhan, you have applied for turn court and debate. Is that a yes? Yeah. So you stay, okay? Because we want to make sure that turn court is happening. For everybody else who's not renamed themselves, I can't make out. So I will just encourage you to carry on. Okay. Yes, please. If you want to uh, you be constructive, then don't put the things on the chat when I'm talking to you. I'll come to WSDC basically means debate. So Afrin, ma'am, let's go next. All right. Um, so this is how specifically the training structure looks like. So in session in the today in today's session, I'm going to talk about the general theme introduction, which has already been there, and you'll know you and you'll also know your tournament schedule. But after that, I'll start with turn code format, which looks like what your speech structure should look like, what are the format modifications that we have made, and some tricks and tips for your comprehensive case. So I think before I start turn code, I will mention it to the debate students that if you want, you can leave. So for now, please stay back because there are some things that you still need to know for debate, right? Um, in to tomorrow's session, WSDC format is going to be completely uh, discussed upon. So we'll talk about format details, how many members are there in one team, how do you make sure that you have a cohesive case, doubt clearance for turn code, but also we're going to have a, a couple of tips and tricks session for you guys so that how can you make a better team composition, how can you make sure that you win in a debate, and so on and so forth. Now the last session again is going to be debate based on a couple of uh, like based on a couple of topics that I've uh, picked for you guys. Um, all right. Let's go to what your tournament schedule looks like. So this is how the tournament schedule looks like. 9 a.m. on the first, that is 5th of August. On that day, 
you are supposed to log in as participants on judges of turn four. So you don't need to worry about the judges. You just need to know about you. So if you are participating in turn four, you need to join at 9 a.m. From 9.30 to 10.30, you'll have your first round. From 11 to 12 noon, you'll have your round two. And then from 12.30 to 1.30, you'll have round three. So I hope this is clear. One thing that I really want to make clear is that you all, if you are participating in turn court, you are supposed to attend all three rounds because the average of all three rounds in terms of scores is going to be considered in order to find out as to who is going to qualify to the out rounds, which looks like who is going to be qualifying to semifinals of the uh, tournament. So yes, if you are WSDC, you don't need to join at 9 a.m. You directly have to join at 3 p.m. only. So just recognize which format you have registered for and then accordingly join. So then we have lunch break. So after 1.30, if you, have, if you are participating in Turncourt, your day ends here. After that, we'll start the debates for WSDC. So at 3 p.m., you're supposed to log in. 3.30 to 4.30, you'll have round one for WSDC, which is going to be prepared, which means that you, you will, so round one and round two for WSDC is going to be prepared, right? Which means that we will give your motion for round one and round two um, tomorrow. Uh, which means you have ample amount of time in order to prepare for it. Um, but round one and round two topic is same, right? Which looks like if you are debating on site proposition in round one, you will get the opposite in round two. So, so opposition in round one, that means opposition in round two. Or if you are opposition in round one, you'll be proposition in round two. So just prepare both sides for that motion. And then motion for round three for middle and senior category is going to be released um, exactly on the day. So 6.30, we are going to release motion for um, middle and senior category. And then you're, you have one hour of prep time from 6.30 to 7.30. And then the debate for round three starts in WSDC for 7.30 to 8.30. Um, again, two things that, that you're supposed to know. For junior category, which is fourth to sixth standard, you have all of your rounds prepared which means that I will release your motions in junior category for all three rounds tomorrow itself, which means the one hour that you have is just to, for you to revise rather than prepare. But for middle and senior category, because you are, uh, because you are grown ups and we know that you can handle difficulty level, we are going to give you the topic on the spot and you have only one hour to prepare for that. Um, if that is clear, the second thing I want to note again is that in WSDC, you will get win or loss, which looks like in round one, you'll have a judge in front of you. The judge will tell you if you win or lose, but the judge will also tell you as to why you win or you why you won and why you lost. Um, so, okay, so in so that means that you're supposed to the more number of wins you have, the better for you in order for you to qualify. But that also means that you're supposed to attend all three rounds in order to have good number of wins. So the way how qualification of WSDC is seen is okay. based on your wins okay. and based on your cumulative so, so you have actually good speaker scores. All of it is going to be considered. So first half of the day on 5th August looks like speech debates, um, speech, and then second half of the for second half of the day looks like um, all debate um, rounds. Now I am going to take questions. Um, I think if you're asking questions, which is literally written on the slides, which looks like what, what are the timings for done code? I think it's literally written on screen. 9.30 to 11.30, your rounds are. You're supposed to join the call by 9 a.m. So please. I think, uh, I think we can iterate it on the day three. Uh, yeah. So what you can do is just come back to the next slide on what the debate students can expect so that they can exit the call. So today, what we're going to do after five minutes is we will get into the details of turn code. So I want all the turn code students to stay. Debate students, Afreen ma'am is just going to tell you what to do. Stop annotating. I can see who's doing it. Okay. So I think what you need to know for now as WSDC debate participants, this yes, you have probably registered as individuals. But if you have registered in terms of, um, if you have told us your preference, um, you, we will basically consider you, that preference and then team you up because WSDC um, is World School Debating Championship, which is a team event. You have three members in a team, uh, which means that we will give you as to what your team looks like, who are the members in your team by tomorrow um, 
which is going to be um, after the call. And we're going to also have a roll call in the meeting tomorrow so that you know where your teammates are and you can contact them. So you will know your teams by tomorrow and you will also know your format details, your tips and tricks, all of that in terms of what debate actually is um, and what is the structure of debate tomorrow in the training session. But also by the end of training session, you'll get your uh, motions for round one and round two. Um, so yes, day two is 2nd of August. Debate teams, please join tomorrow's call by 6 p.m. Um, but right now, you guys can leave. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So you will get your teams and everything um, by the end of tomorrow's session. But um, the max that, that you can expect in terms of team is 2nd of August. So we won't delay more than that. So, yeah. so just one thing I want to definitely add that uh, we give an option for you to suggest your partners. And uh, if you have given us that preference, we will share that. I'm just iterating it once more. If you haven't, don't worry about it. We like to pair students. And when we pair students, we try to pair students of the same school. Okay. Uh, Rian, uh, all the seventh graders, uh, a seventh, eighth, ninth graders, if you can move to the breakout room, uh, one, this would be a perfect time to do so. Uh, everybody else, all the debaters, yes, you can leave. Turn court, please stay back. Right? So I'm going to give you a second also uh, to make sure that you are leaving if you are a debater, uh, both for junior and middle. And uh, for the middle school students, whoever is here, Please make sure that you keep your hands raised. I will just attempt to move you to the breakout room. If you know how to move to a breakout room, Navya, for example, I can see you are middle. Go at the bottom of your Zoom. There's something like a breakout room. You will see, open that. You will see room number one, click join. Okay, I'm going to uh, allow you to unmute yourself with the promise that you will be disciplined about raising your hands. Otherwise, I don't like to mute you all. Okay, I'm allowing you to mute your unmute yourself. Let Afreen ma'am call out who she wants to speak to first. Afreen, over to you. All right. Um, so I think it's clear as of now that yours, if you have any doubts, and now I can specifically deal with your doubts because it's very important. It's training for turn code. Um, so if you have doubts, please put it in the chat box. But after I'm done with this with the slide, I'll always give you the option to also ask me um, questions. In the chat box, please. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I am in debate, ma'am. I don't know that. Ma'am, what WSDC? So, if you don't know what WSDC is, um, you are supposed to join tomorrow's call by six o'clock. So, we will tell you everything about WSDC because that day is specifically meant for WSDC students. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. One second, me. hold on. So let me just uh, let, allow me to help over here. Okay, let me just see. Just, just one second. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, who is this? Please go ahead. Ma'am, ma Myra from juniors. Mm -hmm. okay. Tell me, Myra from juniors. Ma'am, I cannot understand what is team. That's okay, Myra. If you are from WSDC, you can exit the call. And what we will do is we will make sure that we are going into debate tomorrow. You like for debate, right? Excuse me, ma'am. Correct, Myra? Ma'am, tomorrow, will you tell me about the, our teams and the topic of debate? Mm -hmm. Everything, everything, everything. Ma Tips and so tricks. Today, so today you have to have instructions, ma'am. So today, yes, you just yes. needed to know what the training schedule is going to be. It's just orientation for WSTC. Okay, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma 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 I don't want to meet you all. You don't maintain the discipline. I've never sensed this before, ma guys. We don't want to do this. Just one second, ma'am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go one by one. Firstly, I don't want to see WSDC students over here because we will do team uh, format tips and tricks tomorrow. So one by one, you can exit. Ma'am, ma where do WSDC kids should go? They can exit the call. Thank you, RV. Bye-bye. I am in both Ex the formats. So should I stay okay. in the meeting yes. or not? Uh, please stay. Please stay. Folks, we are going to eat into turn for training. All WSDC. Excuse me, ma'am. I just have one quick question about the debate thing. Tell me. Ma'am, uh, my I I filled the debate format. 
and I didn't know that my friend was doing it, so I didn't fill his name, but he filled my name. No that's, worries. So, that's do enough. you know? Do you know our email ID? Do you all you all of you know our email ID? Should I put it on the chat box and you can write this to us? That ma'am, I do yeah. not put this name. When you make your teams, can you please look into this? Can you see my email ID? Hello at the rate ugly dot ai. Yes, ma'am. Radhya got it. Any other yes. question from a WSGC student? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Bhavya. Ma'am, what is WSDC? Ma'am, it means like debate. It means World School Debating Championship. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, I don't, debate. Debate. Ma I don't get confirmation mail. Yeah. From your you side. We are. If there is nothing going to be on email, you all have to be on the WhatsApp group. Are you all on the WhatsApp group? That's why you joined here, right? No, ma'am. Ma'am, ma my class teacher sent me the uh, link to. No worries. Uh, we we normally communicate on WhatsApp, so be here because we won't be sending emails. Okay, we will work on WhatsApp. Any other questions? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm touching ma'am. Excuse me, 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 ma'am.
uh, in round one mm -hmm. we will get against the motion and another and in second round we will get the fourth the motion so i am in turn go debate so will my topic be changed so you will get three we'll come, we'll get it. yeah we'll get it, get it i just want to make sure everybody from debate has uh, left the group because i'll just stop the recording and we'll just uh, start again for